Hey guys, welcome to our Aria Corner Suite room review. This room was fantastic. Fantastic. The views couldn't be beat. The bed was so comfortable. The hotel was amazing. That being said, you're going to see throughout the video there were some small little issues we had. Light switch is not working correctly. Um, curtain switch is not working correctly. The TV in the bedroom wouldn't turn on. And um, we had some issues with light bulbs flickering on and off. Nothing that was a deal breaker, just weird little things that uh, I, I did mention to the front desk on checkout. If this is your first time on our channel and you're here checking out this room review, welcome. We're glad to have you. If you've seen our other videos, welcome back. We love you guys. You guys are awesome. Anyways, guys, watch the room review, enjoy, and uh, let me also point out, I don't know if it was the lighting, my camera, or what was going on in here, but my camera would not stay in focus. Did the best I could to cut the crap out, but we're going to see what happens and see how it turns out. Again, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe. We love you guys. See ya. All right, guys, it's room 20042 at the Aria. Let's hope my camera doesn't die because it's doing some weird things. It's one of the fancy ones where they got the privacy and the uh, service buttons. Turn on all the, all the lights in the room on or off from one switch right there when you come in. When you first come in, you've got the spare slash Dave's bathroom. You guys know how it is when the wife is getting ready in the morning and urgent business needs attended to. There's my lovely wife sitting on the couch, not feeling very vloggish tonight. <laughs> She's tired. It's been a long week. But uh, yeah, it's nice. It does have a very comfortable couch. Decent sized TV. We have uh, a little dining area, the bar, and it does have two refrigerators. It has the pay refrigerator, and it has an empty fridge for you. So, yay us, because, uh, yeah, we needed it for our waters. Just so you know, this room, like in our last room, room review with the Vidara, there's two thermostats. There's one there, and then there's one back here in this little corner. So one of the really cool things about this room, and everybody knows, well, a lot of people know, you can control everything in the room from a little iPad that they have over here on this uh, docking station. There's actually one here and in the bedroom. So you walk out of here. In a little hallway and by the way it does have a pocket door if you've got your kid out here sleeping on the uh, wow that does not want to focus all right that's better so yeah it does have the pocket door just in case your uh, kid is out here sleeping on the fold-out couch and you need a little bit of privacy so you walk in and uh, down this hallway, you got a little set of drawers, which I guess everybody needs a little bit. Why will my camera not focus? To the right, you have a little uh, lamp, little set of drawers with a lamp on top, the thermostat that I mentioned. And in here, ladies and gentlemen, this is a, yeah, this is a nice bathroom right here. This is, it, this is a very, very nice bathroom. It's got the dual vanity, the large mirror, and as the creme de la creme, it has the large soaking tub with a TV to watch, glass door shower, frosted glass, and uh, this honestly, why is my camera not focusing? Huh? Is it the color or something in here? What is going on? So yeah, inside the shower, got your stool. It's just a shower, guys. But this shower head, 
the shower head right here. Guys, it is a jet. A jet. It is almost painful. And for me, I like that kind of shower. And then over here, you have another frosted glass door with the fancy, fancy toilet there. This one has got the bidet, the heated seat. It's got a little bit of everything on it. Controls are right here. Heated seat, got the phone. I don't know why they still have phones in the bathrooms in these hotels anymore. Chances are if you're staying at the Aria in the suite, you've probably got a cell phone. But yeah, it's been nice having the, uh, the two bathrooms and uh, it's just been a nice, nice hotel. Walk through here, you have a nice big bedroom. It comes with large closets. There's actually quite a bit of storage space in here. But yeah, it has the nice big closet right here. Uh, there were two robes in here, but you know, we used them. The bed is so comfortable. So comfortable. Got an outlet on either side of the bed. Reading lights. As you can see, there's a tablet here on the side of the bed. You can control the same things you can control with a tablet in the other room. Order room service, change your thermostat, turn lights on and off, whatever you need to do. I'm gonna go back here and actually hit this uh, master off. Hit the master off. There we go. Good Lord. So, yeah, I know it's dark in here, guys, but I'm going to show you what makes this room even better. Besides the fact that it is very good sized and very comfortable. It's Vegas. Everywhere you look. Everywhere you look. The hell was that? Did you hear that? It's like a door closing or something. So remember that nice big tub that they had in here? Got the tub right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here's the view. Oh, my God. Look at that moon, baby. And then this, guys. Imagine going to sleep to this. Oh. Yeah, so basically, if you're laying in bed, which I'm actually doing right now, this is your view. It really doesn't get any better than that. One thing I have noticed about this room, there's quite a few outlets but they're kind of weirdly, uh, weirdly placed for, for good use. Like there's one right by the door. I mean, I'm sure that that's handy for housekeeping, but it does you no good for plugging in your phone. Of course, there's, there's one in the bathroom, of course. But then there's another one right over here near the connecting door to the next room. 
There's no plugs on the lights themselves on either side of the couch. There are USB plugs on the tablet charger, but generally when you're up here, you've got like an hour and you want to hook it up to the fast charger. Um, there's no outlets through here. Actually, I take that back. There's two right there on the uh, little connect connectivity box. Um, there are two there, and I didn't see them because I plugged in back there behind the uh, behind the desk. <laughs> so another one over here at the bar. See, the thing is, with with me being trying to do these vlogs, I've got shit charged. I've got things plugged in everywhere. I've got batteries plugged in. I've got phones plugged in. I've got cameras plugged in. Um, just basic outlets in here. Here, what is the pink stuff on there? Hmm. Yeah, but this has been just a fantastic room, you guys. I mean, just a fantastic room. Couldn't have been, couldn't have been happier to be in this room. I will say one thing that was very cool about this room is that when we came in and opened the door, I don't know what setting they had it on in here, but the curtains opened up automatically for us. As we walked in, the curtains just opened. And it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Oh, I love it. The curtains opened automatically when we walked in. Did they? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to leave tomorrow. I want to stay another night. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah.